Hello guys, in this video we are going to discuss T flip-flop. Here it is T, T is 1. If we provide clock pulse, then we are getting toggling state. If T is 0, we will not get. So this is our T flip-flop. So let's get started. In the last video, we have discussed this JK flip-flop IC4027. This is JK flip-flop. To make it T flip-flop, we have to connect both the pin J and K. Now it will work as a T flip-flop. T flip-flop will have four pins. T, the input, clock, the input, Q and Q bar are the output. Now let's see the truth table of T flip-flop. T clock, Q and Q bar. If T is 0, then the output will be memory. That is previous state. It doesn't matter whether the clock is 0 or 1. If T is 1, clock is 0, then the output will be memory. If T is 1 and clock is 0 to 1, then the output will be toggling or racing. And this is our T flip-flop. Now let's see the circuit diagram. Here is our IC CD4027. Pin 16 should be connected to the positive rail and 8 to the negative rail. Pin number 6 is J. We will take a switch to provide signals and we will call it T. One pin of the switch is connected to the pin number 6 and other pin to the positive rail. Pin number 5 is K and we will connect both pin number 6 and 5. As it is digital IC, so we have to connect a pull down resistor. The value is 10 kilo ohms. To see whether the switch is connected or not, we will connect an LED. And with the negative pin of the LED, we will connect a resistor and it is connected to the ground. The value is 220 ohms. Pin number 3 is clock pin. To provide clock pulse, we will take a push button switch. One pin of the switch is connected to pin number 3 and other pin to the positive rail. To debounce the switch, we will connect a capacitor. The value is 0.1 microfarad. Here also, we will connect a pull down resistor. The value is 10 kilo ohms. And also, we will connect an LED. Pin number 7 is set and pin number 4 is reset. We will connect both of them and we will connect them to negative rail. Pin number 1 is Q. Pin number 2 is Q bar. With Q, we will connect green LED. With Q bar, red LED. Then we will connect a resistor. The value is 220 ohms and it is connected to the negative rail. So this is our circuit. Now we will make this circuit on the breadboard and verify the truth table. One request, please consider to subscribe my channel. This will motivate me to make more videos. Thank you. This is the IC CD4027. I am using this kind of switch. This is push button switch. 0.1 microfarad capacitor, 220 ohms resistor, 10 kilo ohms resistor, and LEDs. Putting the IC, pin number 16 is connected to positive rail, pin number 8 to negative rail, pin number 5 and 6 are connected together, and with this 10 kilo ohms resistor is connected, and then it is connected to the ground. Pin number 4 and 7 are connected to the ground. Now I am connecting 10 kilo ohms resistor with pin number 3. This switch is for T and this is for clock pin. One pin of the switch is connected to positive rail, connecting 0.1 microfarad capacitor, connecting input LEDs. This side is positive and this side negative. For this, this side is positive and it is negative. Connecting 220 ohms resistor. Now connecting output LED. Here it is Q. Q bar. This side is positive and this side is negative. Connecting 220 ohms resistor with negative pin. T is connected to pin number 5 and 6. Clock pin is connected to pin number 3. Pin number 1 is Q. And pin number 2 is Q bar. 
so this is how we have to connect now I'm connecting plus 5 volt connecting positive and negative now see this truth table T is 0 so it doesn't matter whether clock is 1 or 0 it will be memory state that is previous state see the second condition here T is 1 still it is memory state when T is 1 and clock is 0 to 1 then it will be toggling state or racing so this is our T flip-flop if T is 0 it will not work it will be memory state now it is racing state so guys this is all for today I hope you like this video if so then please like share and subscribe to my channel and if you have any doubt on this then please let me know in the comment section in the next video I'll show you another topic till then stay happy and I'll see you in the next video thanks for watching